Sticking to a training regime is mainly a matter of self-discipline when you're at school or university. It does become a bit more difficult when you have a job and family responsibilities to contend with. The question is, are we ever too old to be trim and healthy? Personal trainer Tamira Ramlal doesn't think so. And here's why she believes that you can stay fit forever. Tamira Ramlal makes it look all so easy, but her style of exercising also reveals something of her focused and self-disciplined approach to life. Her working day begins at 5 a.m. and she was topping up her energy reserves when Kriya arrived. Getting into shape for summer isn't all about physical fitness, it's also about mental well-being. And someone who embodies this is Tamira Ramlal. And today we get to spend some time with her. Hello, how are you? Oh, thank you for coming through. Thank you for having us. This looks very interesting. I'm at a perfect time. All right, do explain, what is it? Before I go to my workout, I love to have my magic tea. I've got lemon, I like to keep it organic. I've got ginger, which I like to chop up fresh and raw. And I've got cane pepper, which is a thermogenic, helps you boost your metabolism. I've got some green tea. I love mint in my green tea, so it's actually a combination. That's also thermogenic, helps you boost calorie burn, and then I've got honey. So honey is just, first of all, sweet and good, and it's just so good for you. What was it like growing up? I mean, you're from Derbs, right? I had an amazing childhood. I was raised in a very beachy town called La Mercy. I'm not sure if you know. <laughs> I do know La Mercy. And yeah, I had a bunch of friends, but I decided to move to Johannesburg as soon as I uh, finished my trek. What was that one thing that pulled you to Johannesburg? There was much more opportunity in the field of fitness and psychology that I had actually been reading about. And I had a small gig of um, modeling back in the day. There's a bunch of discovering more. So how much kind of are you putting in there? We can go for about a teaspoon. So it really depends on how much you can handle. And well, me being Indian, I can handle it. And yeah, I'm just gonna add in your lemon. And I'll let you put in as much honey as you desire. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Great, all right. So moving up to Joburg was very big in terms of opportunity. Yes. What happened once you moved up to Joburg? But did you get into, you obviously went into studying. Life definitely happened for me. Um, lots of things uh, happened that was not planned for and that's led me to this very moment and I'm very grateful for that. I've delved more into things that I love and I'm passionate about such as fitness and the power of the mind. If your belief system is strong enough, everything else follows. And a positive attitude is the most important thing. You've got some quick, easy exercises for us. Well, it's not quick. <laughs> not quick. <laughs> Stay consistent, but yes, I can't wait to share them with you. Okay. Tamira believes in the importance of combining body and mind to achieve wellness. And she's a life coach in addition to being a personal trainer. All right, time to get some exercises in. What are we starting with? I'm gonna teach you how to give a good squat. So we just got our legs shoulder width apart, arms out, and I want you to dip down without your knee popping over your toes. So you try not to lean too much forward, a bit back and just hold that position, come back up. And as you come up, you squeeze the glute muscles. I would do about 15 reps of this, 15 to 20, and I'd do about three sets. So what's next? One of my next exercises is a standing leg raise. You can do this anywhere. You can do this at home. Legs apart, hands up. And you're gonna pick up your leg and down. Try to maintain a good balance. This actually gets your love handled. So I would do about 10 to 15 repetitions and about three sets a day. And you can also alternate. So getting into shape isn't all about exercise. You also have to eat well. Absolutely, so I like to eat really clean and I obviously add in some good spices for taste. I keep it cayenne pepper or black pepper, just easy on the salt. And yeah, especially on glute days, you wanna have a good source of protein. So obviously to eat salads and vegetables is really important. I keep that more for dinner. So a dinner is supposed to be your smallest meal of the day, especially if you're trying to lose weight. All right, time to get that washboard stomach. What's next? You're gonna hold your static hold position for about a minute. And if it's too much, you can actually grab your thigh and a bit of leg movement to warm up the abs. And release. Getting into shape for summer is an holistic approach. It's not only what you put in, like our tea this morning, our exercises now, but it's also about looking the part. Absolutely, and I love dressing up. So I actually use a bunch of local designers and local makeup artists and I actually have my stuff upstairs if you want to take a look. Let's do this. 
Could you please excuse my bed? It's a mess. This is the best excuse for a mess. So tell me, what do we have here? My stylist, who's actually a designer, she sent me my summer vibe for the week. Very nice. So this is what I would typically wear to a night out. Mm -hmm. Um, it's very chic, very evening, and then I have this which is very bright. Very very off shoulder, we're talking bright colors, we're talking frills. It's like the perfect top, really. It would go with anything. This is a jumpsuit that can really go for any day and situation, I love it. And florals are definitely in, including bright colors like this one. I absolutely love this. I think it's perfect for my lunch date just now. Now, of course, with the perfect outfit, you have to have the whole package, which includes great makeup. One of my best friends and an amazing makeup artist, Tamarin, is coming through. So I'm actually gonna throw this on and she's gonna help me with my makeup. Okay, well you go change and I'll chill and we'll see you in a few moments. With Tamarin being up to date with the latest makeup trends, Kriya thought she'd take the opportunity to get us some tips. Tamarin, hi, come hi. in. Nice Kriya, to nice to meet nice you. To meet. So whilst Tamara is getting dressed, I thought I'd chat to you about new summer, new trends. What can we expect? I think we can expect that fresh face look. We got a bit of a prelude from America and Europe. But it's also a timeless look. It's a safer bet, but it also trends with the glow. What is that one tip that no one knows when creating that look? What a lot of people forget is to maybe use loose pigments rather than the compact shadows. The tip is to wet your brush and put it on your lid or even on your cheeks. And that pigment sort of gives you that wet look throughout the day and it lasts the entire day. Well, I think Tamira is almost done. Shall we go see what she looks like? Yes, let's go see. Hello, my friend. Hi, you look it. gorgeous. Thank you. I love it. Anyway, I know you guys have to do a lot of chatting, so I'm gonna go and set up for you and see you a little bit later. Awesome. Okay. So besides looking absolutely stunning, you're also an entrepreneur. Tell me a little bit about your business. My business is Forever Fit SA and there's three legs to my business. There's Fit Body, Fit Mind and Fit Beauty. And these are the three aspects I cover to kind of transform women to their best selves. Do you have a message for South African women? I think we just need to own our power and strive to be independent and literally live life for yourself and I think it's very doable. Thank you so much for spending the day with me. I'm not gonna keep you from your business meeting any longer, but it was so great meeting you. Thank you, Kriya, and thank you, Mela, for spending the day with me.